Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Bo Jason back here again, another one. Drams on deck out here in the San Diego. And today, I'm bringing it back to my home. I'm bringing it back to where it began. This right here, I'm having a one-on-one -on -one versus one. We got the little brother versus the big brother. We got the Mac 12 and the Mac 18. Now this right here is special to me, cinema to me because the McCallum brand is the very first brand that got me really infatuated and hooked and interested in the scotch. Now it wasn't the very first one I've ever had, but it was the first one that had me just like, oh, like, wow, what is this? So right here, you got these two bad boys right here, 12 and 18, right up in the spot right here. And uh, I know one bottle looks slightly, well, I'm being facetious, but very, One's more gone than other. And the thing, the reason I've had this 18 for about um, a year now, so I've been saving it for a year, and it's, it's damn near gone. Because before I killed, I said I gotta do a review of the Mac 18 because this is the only bottle of Mac 18 I've ever had, and it'll probably be the last. I'll tell you why shortly. And this right here is the Mac 12. Like I said, this Mac 12 was the very first one that got me going into Scotch Heavy. I think the very first Scotch, if I remember, I had was the Glen Levin 12, and I love the Glen Levin 12. Uh, I think but when I had the, the Mac 12, it, it, it kind of took it to another level for me. So I'm going to pour a couple of drams of this real quick, one of each, let it open up, and we go from there. But uh, I actually got this uh, Mac 18 for the cheapest price that I've ever, ever seen it. I got this particular Mac 18 when I was in uh, South Beach a year ago. I got it at the Wines and Spirits store and I saw it on sale for uh, uh, $1.99. And I was like, OMG. I was like, I've never seen Mac 18 cheaper than, you know, the cheapest I've ever seen Mac 18 uh, probably before then was like maybe $2.30. <laughs> so when I saw it on sale for $1.99, I was like, yo, I have to get this. So I, I've been shutting out for a year now. And uh, so now, you know, I actually have a uh, uh, one more. Like I said, I, I got pretty much the last down to my last sip. So I, I'm just going to go ahead on and uh, and just, you know, kill it almost and, and just review and see, you know, and just show the experience with you. The reason why I'm doing a verse is because I want people, I want so many people who may not know these brands. If you know these brands, you may you have your own opinion. But. If you just knew this guy, so you want to try, like, okay, what's the difference between this and that? I'll tell you briefly. They're pretty much exact same. They're both aging the same cash, share your cash. But the one thing about this is that it's six years older. And then most of the methods are the same. If you read the box, I mean, there's pretty much uh, uh, pretty much a small pot, natural color. Um, and, and anybody who knows, McCallum is pretty much the standard bearer of most scotch. It is, it is the, uh, the elite, in my opinion. Uh, brands of scotch. I mean, since it's not the only one, there are other great brands out there, um, but it is one of the most prestigious and the one of the most well liked and sought after brands and expensive, and mind you, at that. Um, but they definitely put do a lot in, uh, into making the, their barrels taste good and uh, making them, I mean, rather make sure making that their barrels are aged properly. And when they put their scotch in it, it I mean, oh my God, it comes out amazing to me, especially the sherry oak, because I, sherry oak is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite. Uh, uh, oak for scotch and this Mac 12 is the one of the reasons why it, 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 it really brings it back to my roots so uh, the Mac 12 normally goes for around anywhere from 50 to 65 dollars um, I've seen it in, that's the the, mo the average ballpark I've seen the Mac 18 like, the cheapest I've ever seen is what I bought it for 199 and uh, this was just a year ago in 20 uh, summer 2017 in, in South Beach wine and spirits and the most I've ever seen this bottle, Mac 18, was probably $300. So I got it for $100 cheaper. So that's just my quick spill on it, so on the price. So for me, a lot of my comrades, they was like, the Mac 18 is mostly king. Like, it is exceptional, it's smooth, it's sweet, it's, it's just it's smooth as butter. And I, I, and I agree with them. I think to me, the, the, the major difference is that the 18... I'm gonna go off my past, not what I'm about to review, but it's 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 a slight, it's more mellow, uh, more mellow and more more uh, refined. I would say uh, has maybe a sweeter finish to it. So, but on the nose, 
This is this I smell straight sherry. Like as soon as I put my nose in, I smell just a sherry bomb, like a like a rose butter sherry, just all up in my nose. That's what I that's what I smell. And the thing about this is it's that's not necessarily super sophisticated, but it is it's one particular flavor, but it's one flavor done well. And that's that's the one thing I like about it. It's done very well. It's 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 smooth, it's sweet, it's just it's just mm, mm, mm. Just very sweet, very, very, very sherry like, almost like a not rosy, but flat floral like, but on a small tip though. On the 18 on the nose. It's more subtle, like I don't I don't get the super sherry bomb initially. It's more like some apricots. Some of that sherry I smell, syrup. Kind of vanilla. This one is is I'm, I'm picking up more of a pungent smell, so more pun more strong pronounced smell. Maybe because I put slightly more in there, but also um, I don't know. It just it just smells more pungent with the kick. So so the thing about the uh, the Mac the Callens is that this was the very first brand I ever fell in love with. And from that on, I just tr started trying other brands that I really enjoy. But McCallum is a brand I can always find myself going back to. It's just like, you know, you ever have first love, like your first girlfriend, your first crush? That's what the McCallum is for me. I mean, I moved on since there. I, just, I found other loves that I enjoy just as much. But that first one, that first time, you always remember that. Your first kiss, your first, you know, you, your first girlfriend. So that's what McCallum is to me. It's my first love in, uh, in Scotch. So because of that, it's always going to have a softness for me that's what really got me into scotch like mccallum like wow like what is this you know coming from hennessy and crown royal you go to mccallum that's, it's like worlds apart so that's what that did for me so but i always wondered before i before i bought the mccallum said but you know the 12 and 18 i said it's only six years apart but yet they're 200 dollars apart to me that didn't make sense i was like six years for 200 dollars because that's when i say 200 dollars that's most of the price ranges, like I said, I got it on sale, but probably, but this one right here is normally around 250 260 This is normally around 50 60 So, like I said, it's, it's, I mean, give or take, it may be higher or lower, but the ballpark is close, in the proximity of $170 to $200 difference. So, for me, I said for six years, it's six years warrant a $200 difference. Well, I, that's why I bought both of them, and I got my answer, but I'm going to... Uh, try it non-biasedly as if I'm trying for the first time and give you my honest opinion as I try them side by side. I've had them both before, but I've never had them back to back side by side. And to me, that really makes it more, uh, uh, you know, definite and, and you get more of a, of a honest and opinion because it's right there with, you know, right in your taste buds. So I'm going to start here with this 12. Very sherry, heavy sherry though. If you're not a sherry guy, you ain't gonna like that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a sherry bomb. And to me, so that's very, very sweet. It's very smooth. And the best thing, I, the only thing I really pick up is sherry, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I may pick just a hint, just a small hint of like maybe a, a little bit of a sweetness, like maybe a vanilla or something like that, just a little bit. But really, just from front end, from the nose to the first palate, to the goes down, straight sherry, sherry, sherry. That's what I'm picking up on it. It's still smooth. It's, I don't pick up, there's no bite to it, no burn, at least for me. It's bottled at 43%, aged 12 years. And um, as McCallum says, they don't, it's all natural color. And they have, the, you know, they have these uh, casts and they, and they said that uh, it comes from uh, Spain. And they have it sent out to Scotland where they put their uh, whiskeys inside of it. So to me, you know, it definitely has some spice. A little bit of, uh, it says smoke, but I don't pick up too much smoke, but definitely sherry, spice, like a warm, uh, dark cake. That's what I pick up on, on the nose. But on the, on the palate, I try, I try one more sip, it's just straight sherry bomb.
That's a wonderful dram right there. It, it's, it's a comfort dram because like it's one of the things when you come home, you get off work, you can go right to it. It's going to be there for you. She would not let you down. Trust me. That Mac 12 is consistent and it's in there. I love it. This Mac 12 is it's very confident. Like it, it goes down smooth. I mean, it, it can sneak up on you. It goes down smooth. I mean, it's, it's been times where, like, I kid you not, I uh, I have like four or five shots, and I didn't even know it. Like, wow, I had that many shots. I put it, I, there's a big dent in the bottle, I, and I did. I'm like, wow, I, it don't feel like I had that much because it's just so smooth and easy going. You know, I'm telling you, it, like my house does not feel like a home without a bottle of Macau. It just, I kid you not. Y'all think I'm joking? I'm dead serious. My house does not feel right if I ain't got a bottle of so, at least some McCallum. I got more than just these here, but if I don't have at least one bottle of Mac, I'm you know I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I mean, it's just if you a sky drinker, you know some people think McCallum is overpriced and overrated. I think the, sometimes some of the higher uh, uh, age statements has an inflated price because of the popularity of people because of that. Some people kind of you know like you know shoot McCallum down says it's, it's overhyped. I don't think it's overhyped. I do think certain bottles are overpriced. I will say overpriced, but overhyped, I think it's well warranted in my opinion. But um, that's just my opinion. Uh, I think there's other uh, Scotch brands that that compare to it, but I definitely think all the accolades and all and that McCallum has garnered is well worth it. But I do believe also that it is some of the uh, bottles, like especially like the 18, is a bit overpriced compared to other 18 year old contemporaries like Glenn Dronick, Glenn Levitt, just to name a few. So. So I'm gonna take a quick shot of water, just to just wash my palate, so I can get a very honest opinion of this 18 without having any residue of the 12. So, to cleanse the palate. It's almost like when you when you're in a uh, in a retail store, and you're sniffing different fragrances or you're smelling them. After why you had to put the coffee beans up to kind of clear your nose out and then go in and smell something else. That's what I'm about to do with that. But I'm doing it for not just for your nose, but for your palate as well. So again, the 18 is more subtle than me. I, I don't get I don't pick up the sherry bomb just right off the right in the nose. It seems more softer, more subtle on the nose. But on the palate, here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The 18 is in there. It's more, it's more subtle like this one. Let's imagine if you had, um, this best way I can describe it is like, suppose you ever made Kool-Aid when you was a kid. And you in the Kool-Aid, you, your first batch you made, it's good, but maybe you may have just a, maybe just a tad bit more sugar than you thought, you you know, than you thought. Like, man, it tastes good. Maybe if, if, you, if you had to make one grab, maybe a little bit, just slightly too much sugar. And then you add a little bit more water to it, and it's perfect. That's almost seems like what the 18 is to me. It's just more mellow, more smooth. It's, I definitely uh, have a sherry, but it doesn't it doesn't hit you with the sherry bomb like a 12. It's more subtle. It's more smooth. Com you know what I'm saying? It's not what I would call it necessarily complex, but it definitely has a little bit. I taste the spice more because it's because it's not so much heavy sherry on the palate. You get to taste some of the more subtle uh, uh, notes on there. Like just a little bit of some, I taste more fruits on there. Like maybe an apricot or raisin, a date, something like that. Um, and it's just more smoothed out, you know, very smooth. Um, one more sip. Mm. Mm. I tell you, I'm going to miss you when you leave. I probably won't. I probably, um, be honest with you. I love both of these. These are both staples. If you like McCallum, anybody who, drink, who drinks McCallum, familiar with McCallum, they know, you know, 12 and 18. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give the uh, the Mac 12. I give the Mac 12 probably a solid 8 out of a 10. I give it 8 to 10. And the price has a lot to do with it. It's, it's accurately priced. It's very, like I said, it's not what you would call super sophisticated, but it's, it's, it's very, very good at what it does 
you know, I, you know, you compare it to some, you know, to uh, something that's like maybe not, like I said, the best way I can put it, it's not complex, but it's, it has one particular lane and it does lane exceptionally well. It's very uh, sherry, sherry driven. So um, I love sherry. So uh, to me, I would give it a solid eight out of a ten. The Mac 18, his big brother. I would give the Mac 18 almost like an eight, eight and three quarters out of a out of a ten, almost a nine. You can almost give it a nine, but the reason why I won't give it a nine is because of the price. Um, yes, it is better. So you know, I, it's it's about a point. In my opinion, it's a point better. It don't, the major difference is it's, it's just more smooth, more mellow. The, the the flavors are very similar, but this was more subtle, more you know, slightly more smoother. And that's the difference for me. So, to me, um, is that worth two hundred dollars difference? Uh, hell no, in my opinion. I love the eighteen. I love, I love it. I love the both of them. But is to me, is this two hundred dollars more better than the Mac Twelve? In my honest opinion, no. Is it better? Yes. So let's suppose if it was like maybe instead of being, well, it's normally it's around two fifty. So if they say they sell, they sell it for, we'll say drop a hundred dollars off or maybe one thirty. So you got maybe if this was fifty, maybe one twenty or thirty, then I would say you know this would probably be an overnight. But because of the price, I asked why I bring it down. But just taste alone, I'll probably give it, like I said, almost a nine. So, uh, but to me, it's about a point better than this. So that point to me, the price point doesn't equate to being one note better. Now you may have tried both, and you may think maybe two notes better, whatever the case may be. But uh, I love them both. I've had. More, uh, this I probably this had to be, a, and I skid you not, this probably had to be at least my 12th bottle, if not more than the Mac 12. So I've had this several times. This is the only bottle of Mac 18 I've ever owned. So I've sampled it here and there at restaurants, but the bottle I've owned, this is the only bottle I've ever owned. I've had it for a year, and it's hanging on to its last shot right now. So um, they are both excellent drams. I love them both. Um, you know, if I can date them both and have them both, I will keep them both. But um, my opinion, 18 is better price point not so much so um if you can swing the 250 or 70 by all means try it and see for yourself and there's certain spots you can get a little small miniature and, and try it out if you can do the 18 that would be great too uh, but all in all they're excellent drams i love them both with the passion like this is back this took me back to my original uh, scotch drinking days so uh in my opinion uh 12 would be probably the all-around better fit right well that's the only factor of the price point but again, this is Bo Jason, Drams on Deck. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe, hit that like button, hit me with a comment. If you were some more drams you would like me to review, I might just have it in my stable or I might can go get it for you if you want me to try it out. Um, if you like to just have fun with it, just be more interactive. So let me know what you like about it. But yes, they're both great drams. Mac, the Mac Boys on Deck. The little brother right here, I think, will take the not only in the price war. But taste first taste, 18 is a bet better. It's your boy. Bo Jason, signing out.